it's homework time. Yes, happy, happy homework time is here once again. Yes. Well, let's start off by jotting our name down at the top of the page. I will write my name and you write yours. All right. And for today's date, let's write today's date. All right. Today you write the actual date where and when you are in this world of ours. So in number one, Arabelle, bless her heart, solve the following division problem by drawing an area model. I'm glad to see that it looks kind of like mine, kind of cockeyed. All right, so <clears throat> we see here she did 1,600 divided by 4 is 400. 200 divided by 4 is 50. And 28 divided by 4 is 7. We can see each part of that. And in fact, when we get to part B, we'll actually be writing out what I just said. But when you put all these together, what was her dividends? 1,600, 200, 28. You can tally those up in your head, right? That's 1,828. So 1,828. And what was she dividing by over here? Her divisor is 4. And what did she get for a quotient? 457. 400 plus 50 plus 7, 457. Great, with no remainder, clearly, right? And now the second part, and we'll be doing this for all four, and there's only four questions tonight, um, is drawing a number bond, and then in this case we'll be using the distributive property. Okay, so what she did was she started with this 1,828, right? And then how did she partition it? How did she model this out? Well, she said, okay, I could think of this as 1600, which makes sense because she's dealing with four. And notice I write the number first and then draw the bubble around it so that the bubble is neither um, too big nor too small. And then 200, that works because we know four times five is 20, right? We can see the connection there. And that left 28. So there's our simple number bond. Now with the uh, distributive property, what she did was she simply took that 1600 and divided it by four, right? And I can put that in parentheses. And then what she got there, the quotient for that part of it, she added to this 200. divided by 4. I'm writing too small for my own good here. And then she added that to this part, right, the 28. 28 divided by 4. And just to complete things out here, we already know what you got. We don't have to do any math, right? This is 400. 1600 divided by 4 is 400, and that would be combined with Right, the 50 you get when you divide 200 by 4, and that would be added to the 7, which is your quotient when you divide 28 by 4, and we already put those together, they're easy to do, it's just basically expanded form, right, 457. Beautiful, well look at that, one down, three to go, let's do it. And in number two, we get to draw our own area model. Okay, so let's draw ourselves a nice, generous-sized rectangle. It's a rectangle. Oh, no. And we're dividing by four, right? So we'll put that as our length. Now, when we look at 816, I can think about 800 and I know that that is evenly divisible by 4. Now, I could split it into 400 and 400. I could do that. But, hey, let's, let's, uh, let's go all the way here, folks. And let's say 800, because I can also look at 16 and see that that's evenly divisible by 4 and make life easy here. So, 4 times what is 800? Well, let's, let's break it down into those two steps. Four times what is 400? Well, four times 100 is 400, right? So this is twice that, so it would be 200. Ask yourself, does that make sense? Four times 200, is it 800? 
Well, skip, count by 200s. 200, 400, 600, 800. That works. Okay, so 800 divided by 4 is 200. 16 divided by 4, well, that's much easier, right? 4 times what is 16? Yes, 4 times 4 is 16. So there we go. We, we just solved. And there's no remainder. Hallelujah. So now we'll draw a number bond to do the same th thing, which we started with 816. And we partitioned it out as 800. This one's kind of easy, huh? And 16. There's our number bond. And it says use a written method. So we could do either the distributive property or the standard algorithm long division. Let's do long division because that's the goal here, right? Um, so we're dividing 816 by 4. Well, how many 4s in 8? Yeah, we already know. There's 2 because 2 times 4 is 8. Subtracting, we're left with 0. And now, look, this is a little tricky, though, in the long division. We have 110. How many fours in one? So I have four people standing there, and I have a box of 10 donuts, and they say, hey, give us each a box. I say, no, you get zero boxes, because I only have one. I don't have enough to give everybody one. I just have one. So you get, as I just said, zero boxes of donuts, the 10 box of donuts. Because 0 times 4 is 0. Subtracting, that tells me now, okay, I have to open up that box of donuts with the six loose donuts running around here. Ah, okay, good. Now we see what's going on. So how many 4s in 16? Yes, there are 4. If you look up here, 200, 4, 200, 4, we got the same thing. Twice, 4 times 4 is 16. Subtracting, we're left with 0. We know we should have no remainder because they said there is no remainder. Beautiful. Let's go on to number three and see what challenges it hath wrought. Well, yes, looks like we're doing something pretty similar here in uh, number three. So we have our numbers 549, which we're dividing by three. Now here the area model, you have to do a little more thinking. It's not necessarily harder. You just kind of have to think it out. All right, so let's do that. Let's draw a nice generous size rectangle and we're dividing by three, so that's our length. Now, when I look at 549, I say, okay, what's, what's the easiest thing I can do? To start at, you know, like, again, going back with the donuts, to hand out these donuts, 549 donuts, sharing among three people. How about I just start by giving everybody 100 donuts, 100, 200, 300, right? And then I can deal with the rest of it. Just get 300 donuts handed out. Okay, so that is my first partition, is the 300 out of the 549. So now that leaves 249. Okay, so when I look at that, I see 249. I still have to hand out. Ah, that's 249. That has 24 tens in it. And I'm dividing by 3, and I happen to know... Now, 8 times 3 is 24, right? So those 24 tens and 249, I can make that its own little section because I know that's going to work out evenly. So I'll just, this one's a little tricky. I think about it. So 240, 24 tens, right? And that leaves 9. Now, before we even solve this, I'm going to go down and write this out as a number bond so you could see what we're really doing here. We took the 549. And we said, okay, 300, I can hand out 300 donuts, nice and easy. Everybody gets 100 each. And then that leaves me with 249. Well, if I do the 240, I know that can be evenly divided amongst three people because I know that 24 divided by 3 is 8. And that just leaves those nine donuts to share fairly amongst three people. See, so there's the number bond as well. So, uh... And I just gave you, I actually just said, look, how many threes in 300? Three times what is 300? Yeah, we know that's 100. And then three times what is 240? We already said that three times eight is 24. So, yes, 80. There you go. And double check to make sure that makes sense. 
Skip count by 80s. 80, 160, 240. Okay, it works, all right? And then three times what is nine? In other words, nine divided by three is, yes, three. So our uh, final quotient there is 183. So now we use long division to, re to uh, record our work to figure it out there. So now we're doing 549 divided by three. And you're gonna see a very uh, clear similarity between what we do here and the number bond and the area model. And that's the point. That's why we're doing the same thing three different ways. We already know what the answer is. That's not the point. It's do we understand what we're doing? So how many threes in five? Yes, there's one because one times three is three. And before we go forward, look, do you see it there? That three is in the hundreds place, right? Oh, 300. That one is in the hundreds place. Oh, 100. Yes, it works. And when you subtract, look what we get here. We get two, and then we can divide the four tens. Ah, 24 tens, 24 tens, right there. 240 is 24 tens, correct? Ah, so it all works out. So how many threes in 24? There are eight, because eight times three is 24. And again, with that eight, it's in the tens place. Its value is, there it is, 80. So we subtract uh, back to the long division. We subtract, we get zero, but we still have nine to divide. So how many threes in nine? So there are three threes in nine, because three times three is nine. Subtracting, we get zero. All right, look at that. Everything matches up. 183, 183. Beauteous, can you believe we're almost done? Woohoo! More outside time tonight. Yeah. And here we are, mopping up with number four. So we're going to draw an area model to solve 2,762 divided by two. Tell you what, let's do, let's do things out of order. Let's do the number bond first, okay? Because I, I think that'll make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing. And it doesn't really matter. They represent the same thing. We don't have to do one or the other first. So this is the number we're starting with. And important to remember here is that we're dividing by two. So again, back to my donut thing. If I have this many donuts, what's the fastest way I can hand some out? I know right off the top, what can I hand out? Yeah, I can give each of them a thousand donuts. I can just hand out 2,000 donuts. Thousand for you, thousand for you. There's 2,000 donuts, done. So that will be one of my partitions when I get to the area model is 2,000. Now this is where you have to do a little bit of thinking. That leaves us with 762. Hmm, yes. Let's just think about the 700, shall we? Um, so 700, well, we know it. gosh, with two we're dividing by, it's an odd number, so it's not going to work out. Well, how, why don't we work with then 600? Can we do that instead of 700? Okay, so I'm going to pause for a moment and just over here keep a running tally. We started with 2,762. We already partitioned out 2,000. That leaves 762. And now we're saying, okay, it makes sense to have 600. We can hand out 600 donuts to these two people pretty quick and easy by saying, there's two people, right? 300 for you, 300 for you. Okay, so now we've taken care of another 600 donuts. And that leaves us, you don't have to really do subtraction here, you just can look at it, 162. All right, well, I can look at the 160, right? Those 16 tens, I know that that's evenly divisible by two, so let's, we can deal with those 160 donuts next. And of course, hardly need to write it here, but I will. And that will leave us just with two. So you see, this one takes a little more thinking it's no more difficult. You just have to spend a little more time thinking it out. So now, see why we did this first? Now just drawing our area model is going to be easy. And by the way, I should mention, we could have done this differently. You could have made the 2,000, 1,000, and 1,000. You could have taken the 700, and I mean, you could have done all sorts of things here. So, um, but this is what I thought made sense. And it works. So we'll draw a nice, generous-sized rectangle here because we have lots of stuff we see to put inside it. And we're dividing by two, so that's our length. 
So our largest partition here is the 2000. So I'm going to not make it as big as it should be to leave me some room for the rest of it. So this is 2000. And then we have 600. And then 160. I know these are totally not to scale, and this is just two. All right. So how many twos in 2,000? 2, 2,000 divided by two is, or two times what is 2,000? Yes, we had already said it, so there's no mystery. It is 1,000, right? Two times 1,000 is 2,000. So two times what is 600? In other words, 600 divided by two. Oh, well, divided by two is like splitting in half. What's half of 600? That's right, it's 300. And check yourself. 300 times 2, 300 doubled, 600, yep, makes sense. So again, dividing by 2, 160. What's half of 160? Well, you know, half of 16 is 8, so half of 160 is 80. Yes. And double check yourself. 80 times 2, is that 160? Yep. 2 divided by 2, come on, yeah, 1. And so, although I had it on the others, I just want to write here what that works out to be as a quotient that it's 1,000, and it's just an expanded form, so I don't really need to add, per se, just 1,381. I just want to record that so when I get to the long division, I know what I should be getting for a quotient. So let's do that long division. So we are dividing 2,762 by 2, and you will see a connection between this uh, long division algorithm and the area model and the number. So how many twos in two? Yes, there's one, because one times two is two. Subtracting, we're left with zero. Now we can divide the seven hundreds. How many twos in seven? Yes, there are three, because three times two is six. Subtracting, we're left with one. Now we can divide the tens. We have six tens, so 16 tens altogether here to divide. How many twos in 16? Yep, we just did it. It's 8 because 8 times 2 is 16. Subtracting, we get 0, but now we can divide the 2. How many 2's in 2? There is 1. You see my writing is getting smaller and smaller as I'm cramped for room here. Because 1 times 2 is 2. Subtracting, we're left with 0. Again, no remainder, thankfully. Ms. Thompson, you're needed in the main office. Ms. Thompson, you're needed in the main office. The gods have spoken. All right, well, anyway, it's a school. That happens. So uh, there we go, 1,381, that is what we got there. So everything looks beautiful, lovely, and believe it or not, that's it. This homework time is complete. I will see you next time. It is once again, homework time. <laughs>